Okay, so how am I going to use this thumbnail then to uh, to plan this painting? Well, we've done the planning, obviously the thumbnail, but it's got to indicate where I've got to go and what colours I've got to use. Um, so what I start with first is I start with the lightest of the light. So I'm going to start by putting in the, uh, the underpainting for the sky. And it's a very, very, very pale blue. The, the, the leaving of the um, marker pens and just showing that there's something uh, indicates that it's the lightest part of the picture. And I'm just going to place that in, making sure that horizon is, is up to that line. I'm not looking at the photograph at this stage at all. And I just want to make that horizon a little bit lower and come into that with the uh, with the hills I've got I don't want the picture in half so I want more sky than I'd want the floor that's not a problem right okay so I've got the pale the pale blue on there I just want to um, rub that into the pastel mat the materials I'm using uh, will be um, my preferred surface is Clairefontaine pastel mat and um, I'll be using a combination of uh, unison pastels and Terry Ludwig okay right don't worry about the pastel at the bottom we'll get rid of that later okay so we've got we've got the underpainting in I want to do the underpainting for the bottom as well now bear in mind that the darks are um, at the front here and there's a little bit in the middle uh, I want to just pull up put those um, those mountains in at the back so I'm gonna I'm just gonna put in the um, what's the one the greens I'm going to use the dark tone and I'm going to use the green for the center of where that do dark tone is there in roughly the shape this is a Terry Ludwig it's a square um, pastel they're really nice to use because you can use the corners you can use the uh, the edge edges and you can use it flat which i'll be doing in a minute but i just want to get that shape in there and then i want to just get in this dark tone it could be any dark tone it doesn't have to be the color that you're going to end up with but we just want the dark tone in the space that we've indicated on the thumbnail okay so i am just working off this thumbnail at the moment all right, nothing else. I just want to work that one in. Um, use another piece. Just want to work that in to the pastel mat. This is just um, packing material. Um, it just saves fingerprints, <laughs> really. And it does a really nice job of getting the pastel in to that pastel mat with the teeth. Pastel mat is uh, is like a sanded paper. Um, it's not in, it's not like Ingress paper. Ingress has got no teeth to it, um, and you can't build up the layers like you can with um, like you can with uh, pastel mat. Right. Okay. So let's go more to the mids then. So mid colours. It don't matter what, but mid colours. Um, I'm just going to put in where I've gone with the. The line there and just along that edge it's also mid colors over there now don't forget you have to think about distance so I'm going to swap for these distant um, distant views um, rolling hills I'm not going to call them mountains because they're not and I'm just going to put in that lovely blue that we have all right there is a blue haze over quite a bit of this picture because i'm looking a long way and you get the molecules of blue okay so just i'm just going to go over just some of that green just to dull it a little bit because i want the blue to come through right okay now i'm just the only other thing left to do for the underpainting is that little bit of light lightness what we've got in there 
um, which is down there and it's over the top so we'll do there there's a couple of fields I think of crop um, that's just showing that uh, sunshine's catching it right so all that pastel mat is now covered okay I could use um, which I will do uh, the, the packing thing just to push it into the pastel mat bearing in mind that is um, it's a base painting really it's the underpainting for uh, the whole thing and I don't want it particularly in focus it's just gonna be where you've got the tones now just check now at this point that your tones on this picture is the same as you've got on uh, your thumbnail there's the dark let me just darken that a little bit more just along there and this here is a little bit darker use the side of the pastel just to give you a, a flatter coverage okay so now we've got um, the main uh, areas or all the all the values in for that painting okay um, now at this stage um, I'm gonna continue but I'm I might start looking at the photograph okay uh, and which I'm not gonna pick out a lot of the detail but I will it will help me to just um, clarify where light where the Sun I need to do some clouds okay so let's start with um, the sky so I'm going to start with the bottoms of those clouds okay I'm using the photograph as reference but um, I'm not too worried about um, mimicking it completely I you know I, I want to get a, a feel for this not um, verbatim right now then because we've got one layer on there uh, this will move nicely on the top and it's just a case of picking out um, the shapes that you've got on your photograph I'm going to need some more uh, layers on there but that's just giving me an indication of where the darkest clouds are. I've also got some um, really light bits on this edge at the top where the clouds are obviously being reflected with the sun. So that would be a good idea. 